the random effects one remembers for many years. So I can remember when I was in ooh, grade four, grade five, learning about Prince Henry the Navigator who had a school for sailors at Sagres. I'm not even sure if I'm saying it correctly. Sagres, Sagres, Sagres. Anyway, so that's one thing. All my life I've never forgotten about Prince Henry the Navigator. Like, you know, remembering Battle of Hastings 1066, Jans van Riebeck arrived at the Cape, 6th of April, 1652. I've never forgotten those facts, as random as they might be. And here I am, where he supposedly had his school for sailors. Zagres is 30 kilometers from Lagos and 43 kilometers from Algezur. So it's a great day trip. You have to look at this narrow road. It's like only place for one car. And yeah. Uh, my nerves. Okay, maybe car can just pass you, but. <sighs> But look at this view as you're coming. Okay, let me focus on the road. Sometimes things look quite close on a map, but Definitely the road less traveled to get here, but this looks like it might have some spectacular views. Oh my god. Yep, look at that. And then going down to the ocean over there. So, just a little bit of a way to get there. Hoping it's going to be stunning. And the beaches around Sagres are stunning. And there's quite a few beaches. They're all brilliant surf beaches. And the good thing is that they're not far from each other. So if the surf isn't great at one, you can just head to the other. The interesting thing is that although the beaches at Sagres are in the Algarve it's not touristy it's not filled with tourists and people like the rest of the Algarve so it's a much quieter area for those wanting to get away from all the the tourists but they still like the actual town of Sagres which is a little bit like a little cowboy town it's like really small and there's not much there other than the, the old fort. But there's a lot of cheap accommodation and I think um, it's definitely got like a big surf vibe and there's lots and lots of cheap restaurants. And the seafood there, spectacular. Best anywhere in the world. So I think if you're staying in Al Jazeera or Lagos, you have to make a day trip to Sagres. It's, it's worth going to see. Uh, the views are spectacular. And, of course, you can't forget that this is where Prince Henry the Navigator established his school for sailors in 1418. He gathered all these scientists and sailors around and I suppose he trained them. And although the ships didn't leave from, from Sagres, they left from Lagos until he eventually died and then they start, the ships started moving from Lisbon. The other interesting place to visit over there is Cabo São Vicente, 
which is about 6Ks from Sagres, and that is the southwesternmost point of the Iberian Peninsula. So that's quite stunning. And in medieval times, that's where people thought it was the end of the world. So basically, Sagres was close to the end of the world if you were living at that time. You know, they, they would have been quite brave, I suppose, to head out into the ocean from this point. So surrounded by all this history and all I can think of, did Prince Henry have a toilet? Because I need one pretty bad. The fort itself is not that much to look at, but the little chapel there is quite cute. And I sort of could ma imagine, you know, maybe Prince Henry the Navigator went to that chapel. But this fort, which was built in the 15th century, was damaged, quite badly damaged, by the huge tidal wave, which came from the massive 1755 earthquake that hit Lisbon. So you can imagine, this is so high up on these cliffs, and yet it still got <laughs> destroyed by a tidal wave. That must have been one hell of a tidal wave. are into hiking very long distances in the heat there are two very long hikes which start from this area so yeah you can hike and surf and have a wonderful time but after exploring I mean I re really think it was worth the I was staying in Al Jazeera so I think it was worth the 43 um, kilometer trip to go and see Sagres because I found this amazing restaurant they did take my temperature before I went in but oh my goodness the swordfish absolutely spectacular so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you on my next adventure <music>